Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Hello, sports card fans, wrestling collectors. This is Tom from Collect a Wrestlepalooza. This week we're counting down the top five prices paid for Macho Man Randy Savage wrestling cards. Ooh, yeah. If you've been to this channel before, welcome back. I appreciate the support. If you've never been here, here's how my top fives work. Basically, I'm looking at eBay auctions. I'm filtering out some criteria. This week I typed Macho Man into the search bar and saw the top five auction prices only and I try to filter out any suspect sales in other words things that have unregistered users or were obviously relisted so let's get right to it coming in at number five is a 2022 select WWE concourse gold wave prism PSA 10 which sold for $330 at auction I like that this one came in at number five because it is the concourse tier and even though this card is numbered to 10 you can see on the back of the card, this is card number 10 out of 10, so it's a bookshelf. Uh, it's going to be less desirable than the ringside, for example, tier of the same card. And if you think of it like a stadium, the ringside seats are better than the concourse seats, so therefore the ringside seats are more desirable. But it doesn't always mean the image is better, it just means that it's a different level and it's a little more special. In the base series, I think that the ringside cards would be more rare, but in the gold wave prisms, they're all going to be numbered to 10, so uh, they're going to have the same rarity. In other words, the concourse ones are not going to be any more or less rare than the ringside ones of the gold wave prisms because there's 10 of each, but the concourse ones are still a little less desirable uh, due to the fact that they're concourse uh, level as opposed to the ringside level. Regardless, this is an amazing looking card. I love the way uh, Randy Savage looks against the gold. It has the same pop of his ring entrance. It's really an attractive card, uh, and it is a perfect gem mint 10 numbered out of 10 so for all those reasons it sold for 330 dollars so coming in at number four is a 2022 select wwe ringside gold wave prism psa 10 which sold for 500 dollars so i love that these two cards were next to each other in the top five list because they're the same year but this one is the ringside tier of panini select so it's a 2022 it's a gold wave prism it's numbered to 10 you look at the back of this card uh, this one's number seven out of 10 but this one sold for more it's 500 dollars as opposed to $300 for the concourse one, or I should say $330 for the concourse one. Uh, and I actually preferred the image on the concourse one more than the image on this ringside one, but ringside ones are going to sell for more no matter what because they are ringside uh, and there is some prestige with the ringside uh, level in the Panini Selects, even if it is a card that's all numbered to 10. Uh, ringsides are generally more rare and therefore the ringside gold wave prism is going to sell for a premium. Coming in at number three is a Randy Savage Jim Neidhart 2019 Dual Transcendent Cut Auto, which sold for $860 at auction. There were a few cut autos that I had in a previous video on the archives. If you look through my top five lists, you're going to find some cut autos that were actually suspect sales. In other words, they went through, but almost every bidder was an unregistered user. So uh, this one I did research. And the sale looked legit. It is uh, $860 is probably right for a Macho Man autograph, uh, particularly in a transcendent line, if not a little bit inexpensive. And uh, two major stars like Jim Neidhart and Randy Savage, both on the same card, uh, really attractive. I'm not a huge fan of cut autos in general. I think that if you buy the 8x10 glossy that is not cut, it generally is a heck of a lot less expensive than if you put it on a card and it's the same autograph but I understand why people like the cut autos it's very attractive and it's closer to a hard sign than a sticker auto so uh, that's the reason why people like the cut autos it is a really good looking card this one does have the gold um, you know frame around it which for Macho Man is is great it depicts Macho Man in the best stage of his career when he had the black shades and the orange bandana and the purple classic Macho Man shirt uh, and this is a really nice looking card it is a transcendent which is a great series of cards and uh, for those reasons this one sold for $860 
Number two this week is a 2023 Panini Prism WWE Lucky Envelopes PSA 10, which sold for $1,001 uh, at auction. This one is numbered to eight. You can see on the back of the card here, this one's seven out of eight. And a number of the numbered to eight PSA 10s sold recently at auction. So this was the highest price was 1,001, but there were a few in the high uh, six, seven, eight hundred dollar range as well uh, that I did not include include because it's essentially the same card even though it was a different serial number. I don't know why they'd all sell at the same time. Maybe they were all pulled at the same time. Maybe the Panini, uh, these are I guess are not white sparkles, but uh, maybe this Lucky Envelope series all were released at the same time. I don't know. If you do know, please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, but I'm guessing they were all either from the same collector or uh, that type of thing. They all entered the market uh, in a similar time frame. But uh, it's easy to see why this card would fetch four figures just based on the fact that uh, it is a really nice looking card. It's from a cool stage of Macho Man's career when he had the tassels and the black and white uh, and also it is numbered to eight so it is a very rare card and it's graded gem mint 10. And number one this week is another cut signature. This one is a one of one. Uh, Gem Mint 10 WWE Undisputed from 2020, which sold for $2,500. Again, you know how I feel about cut signatures, but if you're going to get one, get one from Macho Man. Get one that's uh, numbered one of one. Uh, get one that's graded PSA 10, and it's a really big signature there, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, really good looking card so uh, for all those reasons this one sold for 2500 bucks I do like the yellow stationery with the bold black letters uh, very attractive uh, you know a really nice hard signature of macho man uh, no matter what you think about cut signatures any one of one card that checks off so many boxes uh, is gonna sell for a premium in this case $2,500 and that does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this top five. Uh, what are your favorite memories of Macho Man Randy Savage? Leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great week. Be good to each other. Happy collecting. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza.